So today is March 20th at 12.41 a, uh, at 12.41 p.m. Uh, Anno Domini 2023, and I am officially calling it. Um, I am putting my Holzforma G660 into semi-retirement. I have had this saw for over a year and I have milled, I wanna actually calculate the exact board foot, board footage that I have milled with this saw because it's been probably a 90% milling saw for me. And um, I'm looking at my stack, looking at my woodshed right now. I have, I don't know, a five and a half foot high uh, uh, stack of red oak. I have maple, I have pine, I have uh, you know red oak and white oak. Um, I have poplar. Um, I have milled with this saw. I have used it. I have gotten to know every, practically every bolt, every thread on this machine. I know it. It's my saw right now. Um, and I would say that from about 60 days into this saw, it has been nothing but persistent, acidic heartburn. <laughs> I mean, I, I, want, I try to be very honest with myself so that the people that watch this can be very honest with themselves about what to purchase and be smart with their money. I mean, that's my whole thing with this channel. Nobody pays me. Just set the record straight there. Um, and I'm not looking for anybody to pay me. I haven't received a dollar from anybody ever, um, any brand for, for this, uh, this channel, anything. I pay my own freight uh, and I carry my own weight. Um, this saw has been just, um, man, I have done the uh, ignition coil two times, so I'm on my third ignition coil. Uh, I have replaced the pull cord, the recoil, uh, this guy here, um, which was, boy, was that ever a pain. I had to drill out the uh, channel in, in the recoil to get it, um, to get actually a decent size um, coil in there. I have, uh, I've replaced the air filter and that's just a consumable product. That's something that you do, but it was really early and the filter I thought was, I, ju it, I just didn't feel like it ever gave the saw enough air. Um, my spark plug blew out of the cylinder head and I tell you what, man, I, I actually purchased a new cylinder head for it, but I was right in the middle of the job when it blew and so I threw a save a thread in there. Um, I had to, that was, that was a, <laughs> I mean, I had to tear off some fins and so that was a whole big deal. Um, my, uh, you know, this this chain break never never works right. It it still doesn't really. I mean, you gotta like really slam it, but it hasn't broken. You know, both of my, uh, you know, this fuel cap actually came without the retention bar on it. It just wasn't there. And then on the oil side, that part came off. The seals, you know. Um, blown off. Um, what I'm, I know I'm leaving stuff out here. What I have done to this saw. I mean, just to say, I have a, I've disassembled this thing probably three times, and I would say I have the best possible help from people on YouTube whose opinion and knowledge I really respect in keeping this saw running. I had given up on it probably twice before. Um, and I, I don't want to name any names just to wrap. I don't want to wrap anybody up into my own stuff. And, you know, so I just to say there are people whose opinion and knowledge I really respect who have been enormously helpful to me and, and given me the capability to keep running longer than probably I could have kept the saw running on my own. Um, and those people are just wonderful. God bless them. You know, just real salt of the earth people. Um, and I know people on YouTube that use this saw and get great results with it. Um, they love it, they swear by it. Um, for me, this saw has been an ordeal of biblical proportions. It has left me stranded maybe four times. Um, one time I was milling up a white oak that's about an hour away from town and the chain tensioner goes out. So, you know, I've burned a whole day um, got to drive back, got to get the part, and then the part's 50 bucks from the steel dealer and uh, left me stranded a couple other times when the pull cord broke. What are you going to do? <laughs> um, what else has gone wrong with this saw that left me stranded? Um, I, oh, the ignition coil, that was its own, oh my lord, that was a nightmare because I ordered an, a replacement ignition coil and that one didn't work either. So 
Man, um, this saw, I want to actually calculate the exact board footage that I have milled with it. I'm looking at my stack of, of lumber right now. I mean, it, it would be in the, I would guess low thousands number. Um, I've used it for over a year. I mean, it's been in the wood. Um, I would say it probably will ultimately pay for itself. But in terms of the stress, and the biggest thing for me is I can't trust it. I can't count on this saw to work when I need it to work. Um, if I need to drive an hour to go mill up a tree, I, I can't do that with this saw and feel good about it. Um, if you're a homeowner, I would say, you know, if you have a big tree that uh, you don't wanna drop a thousand bucks on a steel or a husky and you just need to do one tree, maybe this saw would be worth it. If you mill around your house because you have your own land that you manage, I would say maybe this saw makes, makes sense. Um, but if you are a serious chainsaw miller, like I'm trying to be, and you travel to trees, and you mill big trees. Um, I would say with this saw, I don't know that I have milled anything under 20 inches on it. Um, yeah, I would say probably the smallest log I ever milled was maybe 20, 25 inches on it. I, I mean, it's, it's milled some big stuff. I think the largest, this is a 40, six inch mill that I have on here. Uh, and I would say the largest tree I have milled is maybe 38, 38 inches, 37 or 38 inches, right around there. So, you know, it has, uh, it's, you know, it, it's worked for the time that it worked. Um, but when it was working, I, I didn't trust it. I didn't feel good about running it. I just didn't feel confident that it would finish the job that it started. And today is when it actually died. Um, I was milling up a poplar. I think the poplar was three feet, three feet in diameter. I'm going right through the middle of the, of the tree and you know, the compression was just gone. I mean, there was zero compression on this thing. I could actually watch the, um, um, the I could watch the chain just skip along the log and it would, it just wouldn't go. There was zero compression. Um, and so I am, I'm ready to call this thing retired. Um, I am going to keep it around. I'll replace that cylinder head, see if I can bring back some of that compression. I've got a new piston, new rings too. So I will rebuild this saw, but I just, I don't know that I could ever trust this saw. So, In its place, I have the Steel MS661CM. Um, this is uh, made, in, made in Germany. Um, got it from a local dealer, American uh, Chainsaw here, and it's a, in a nearby town from me. Um, they were great to deal with. This thing was expensive, but I got to the point where, um, watch me talk myself into doing this. <laughs> um, I was missing out on opportunities and the opportunities that I was um, working my way through, I, I just, I didn't feel like I was making the impression that I wanted to make. I wasn't as quick as I wanted to be, as efficient. Um, I just, I felt like the equipment was holding me back. And at some point when you do enough milling, like I'm doing, you really do need to invest in dependable equipment. If, if that whole forma was dependable, um, you, you know, you have a totally different story. There's nothing, I, I don't have anything against the brand necessarily, anything against, you know, where something is, is made. I mean, I have no brand loyalty to Husky, to Steel. I mean, um, brand loyalty, I think, is, uh, it, is essentially a 20th century concept anymore. And I hate to say that, but, um, you know, if, if a brand, if you can't count on the brand to be loyal to you, it's real tough to reciprocate back. So I don't have anything against the brand necessarily. Um, for me, it was purely just a question of 
Can I be efficient? Can I make money? Can I be dependable? Um, that's it, you know? Um, and so this saw, it, it cuts like nothing I've ever used. I mean, it is incredible. Um, I am, uh, I'm, I'm breaking it in now and I'm cutting through just the gnarliest stuff and it, it's unbelievable. I mean, this is an absolute champ.